guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Ring 2 Episode 12, or what I would like to call it, the mid-season finale of No Gun's Life. But, I don't know what else to really say about this. I'm, I'm a little excited, but then at the same time, I'm kind of upset because this show ain't coming back until April. And April, I mean, as of now, it, it is a long time away, but like once we get into January, it's like not that far away, but... <sighs> The, the shit that I got from last night with, like, fucking Orsuki and the fact that the OVA I gotta wait till summer, like, this just pisses me off even more. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode 12 in 3, 2, 1, go. And I'm guessing you li oh shit, you live in that big house by yourself, don't you? Holy crap. Damn, she lost her fucking leg. Mm -mm. Then she probably has like a robot leg. Yeah. But then, okay, hold up. Let me say this real quick. Since she's being haunted by an extent, would you really want something that you're afraid of to be a part of your body now? I really don't think so. I mean, she, we don't know how traumatized she is from this thing. And we're going to find out with this episode. But then at the same time, you're like, what else can you do? You either are stuck to a wheelchair for the rest of your life or you have a prosthetic leg and you can walk around with it but she she's still gonna hate it because of the fact is what it's constantly really gonna remind her i get that but it's a damned if you don't damned if you don't <laughs> damned if you do damned if you don't situation but it's up to her I'm going to miss your ass for like several months. I still kind of wish that, you know, Tundra, Tundra? Not Tundra. Oh my god, deep. <laughs> Tundra! <laughs> deep between on my mind. Tundra went with them. A few. A few. I'm thinking this is like maybe like a couple of weeks ago or a month ago. Not a few days.
So where did the footprints land? Weird. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think we're going to be able to find that out. I mean, maybe half of the plot, maybe in today's episode, but second half, April. Hiding under the bed. Yeah. Wait. Uh -uh. He's not going to hurt you. Just go. Let Mary talk to Rosa. <laughs> Excuse me. The hell? Holy shit. See, I honestly thought that this ghost... Okay, as I was trying to say. I thought the ghost would maybe possibly, like, show him a sign. Like, not only the footprints... Taking him where the footprints possibly would lead. I don't know, but then... You know how it feels kind of a little too easy? It's like that. But it was that same arm that, like, grabbed you, though. Because yeah, it has the thing on it.
What? Yeah, because she's not showing. Isn't it a little weird how your father would give you something that right before the accident? See, that's like in Resident Evil 2 when Sherry had the freaking love. The cure up inside her the whole entire time in that necklace. Wait! Exactly what he means. You could have left those footprints. Mm -hmm. So then you did the footprints. So then are you possibly telling me that this extends these hands was trying to save her family? And Danny killed her parents? Oh. Misunderstanding my eyes.
Oh. Okay, shoot. Well, I'm too late. She's involved in it now. actually going to come. Yeah, I'm telling them. Of course. Mm -hmm. Those extends, we're just trying to help you. Up for the train. <laughs> oh, God, that's so tight. Please tell me they made that. Oh, thank God.
Rosa, I presume. I mean, even though we got Danny was the one who hired you, but Rosa? You're not going to break it, are you? It's okay. Right. <laughs> I don't touch it all. At least he's here. He wasn't here for the whole freaking episode. I mean, my God. Yeah, I honestly thought it would have went with you guys, but one died and don't even know where the hell the other one went. You know what? I, I don't know. Should I do this? I don't know. I don't know. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna do it anyway. All right. So final thoughts on the first half of this show. I really do like this show. I mean, it the way this episode ended, I mean, it was just an arc on its own. I'm glad because I was like hoping with, let's go back to last week and the issue that I said last week where I was like, if this episode ends on a big old cliffhanger or like an open ending sort because at the time I was assuming that we were only going to have 12 episodes and stuff, but in a way we are, but then we're not going to see the rest until April. Um, I was going to be pissed and I was just going to be like, well, what the fuck? But honestly with this last episode and because of the fact is it was an 
arc on its own, different story. It still had to deal with the main story, but not as much. And I'm glad they were able to do that. But still, like, you have so many unanswered questions from episodes 1 to episodes 11. So I feel like when we get closer to April, I probably will do a rewatch of the first 12 episodes. Just to, unless they want to do, because they could, like, currently right now with, like, with Fate Grand Order, um... This week, last week's episode and this week's episodes, I think, are both recap episodes before the second half of the show starts. So if they want to do, like, a recap episode, because, I mean, it's going to be, like, a couple of months from December to April. And so not everybody's going to have time to possibly sit and rewatch a span of 12 episodes, possibly, you know, all in one day or even in a couple of days, depending on how much you can watch in a day and how much you're doing in a day. But, um... That's what I think they should do. Have a recap before episode um, 13 comes up and then just continue it where it's left off. But I mean, yeah, it was good. I'm hoping that for the second half of the series, Rosa does come back in some sort. Because now since she, you know, said sorry to Juzo for saying the things that she said for her hatred um, of extents, because it wasn't the hand's fault in the end. It was Danny's fault for killing her parents. And it was just her own um, hatred towards it. And now she's like somewhat warming up to him but not as much i think it's just gonna take a little while um i do hope that she actually gets a um a leg and extend to use so that she can walk around because i don't want her to be always getting carried around by someone for like the second half of the series it's not a like a damsel in distress in a way it is but it's just for her to get her own independence i mean she's had it for such a long time but because of the fact is that she is amputated from um her knee downwards, you know, what else can she use? And I mean, I really want to see her and Mary Bond a little bit more and then have <laughs> Tetsuro come in and stuff. But like, honestly, it felt a little weird not even to have Tetsuro for the whole entire episode until like these last few moments. So, I mean, but yeah, I hope the bond with these three gets a little bit better in season, uh, not in season two, in the second half of season two. But honestly, whatever happens, I'm super excited for it and I cannot wait till April. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 12 of No Guns Life. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Marshall Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all sometime in April. Don't know when specifically. I think it's April... I think they said April 4th, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. But whenever the second half of this show starts, that's officially when you guys will see me. But I will see you guys all next time. Bye!